Solving problems involving proportions. With our learning target, solve problems involving direct proportion, partitive proportion, and inverse proportion in different contexts such as distance, rate, and time using appropriate problem-solving strategies and tools. As a review, what is a proportion? Proportion is a statement stating that two ratios are equal. Example, the ratios 1 to 2 and 2 to 4 form a proportion since 1 to 2 is equivalent to 2 to 4. That is 1 to 2 equals to 2 to 4 in fraction form. The cross multiplication or products of 1 and 4 or 1 times 4 and 2 times 2 are equal. Since we already knew what a proportion is, let us go to the three kinds of proportion and solving problems. First, let us identify what a direct proportion is. If an increase in quantity results to increase in another, then the two quantities are direct proportion. Examples Score to rating Your body size and the size of your uniform and number of kilos of rice to the amount you will pay. Let's have this sample problem. Example number one. When Mrs. Cruz went to abroad for an educational tour, she noticed that each guide goes along with three tourists. If there are four guides, how many tourists would they bring around? Let's have this given. One guide, four, three tourists. Here's the solution. First, write the related proportion. We have guide to tourist that is equal to guide to tourist. That is 1 to 3 equal to 4 to n. Next, we will solve for n in the proportion. We need to know the number of tourists. That is 1n equals 4 times 3. We have n equals 12. Therefore, our answer is 12 tourists. Next example, Eric's car consumes 1 liter of unleaded gasoline for every 20 km distance. How many liters of unleaded gasoline will he need to travel a 160 km trip? Given are 1 liter for 20 km. Here's the solution. First, you write the related proportion. We have liter to kilometer that's equal to liter to kilometer. That is 1 liter to 20 kilometer equal to, we are finding the liter or we use in, is to 160 kilometers. That's 1 to 20 that's equal to N to 160. Next, solve for N in the proportion. That becomes 20N equal to 1 times 160. Then, after finding the product, we will divide it by 20. 
So 160 divided by 20 equals 8. What is the value of n? 8. And what is our answer? There are 8 liters for 160 kilometers. Another kind of proportion is inverse proportion. If an increase in quantity results to a decrease in another, then the two quantities are inverse proportion. Example, suppose that 20 men can build a house in 6 days. If the number of men is 30, then it would take only 4 days for them to build a house. If the number of men is 40, then it would only take 3 days to build the house. Let's have this sample problem for you to understand more. Example number one, three men can complete a project in three weeks. How many men will be needed if the project is to be completed in a week? Given three men in three weeks. Solution, first write the related proportion. We have more men is to less men equal to more weeks to less week. N men is to 3 equal to 3 weeks is to 1 week. We have N to 3 that is equal to 3 to 1. Let us solve for n in the proportion. That is n equals 3 times 3. That is, of course, 9. Then divided by 1, the answer is still 9. The value of n is 9. Therefore, the answer is 9 men are needed to complete the project in one week. Example number 2. 20 men can paint a building in 15 days. How many days will it take 30 men to paint the same building? Given we have 20 men in 15 days. Here is the solution. First, write the related proportion. More men to less men that's equal to more days to less days. That is 20 men to 20 men equal to 15 days to n. Or 30 to 20 that is equal to 15 to n. Next, we will solve for n in the proportion. That is n equals 20 times 15 that is 300, then divide by 30, the answer is 10. The value of n is 10 or it will take 10 days for 30 men to paint the same building. Next kind of proportion is partity of proportion. If a given whole is to be divided into several parts, given a specified ratio, partity of proportion is used. Sample problem. Example number one. Divide 100 into parts 2 to 3 to 5. Given 100 into parts 2 to 3 to 5. Solution. 2 units plus 3 units plus 5 units equals 10 units. Therefore, 1 unit is equal to 100 divided by the total number of units, which is 10. That is, 1 unit 
is equal to 10. Therefore, 10 times 2 units is equal to 20. 10 times 3 units is equal to 30. And 10 times 5 units is equal to 50. The answer is 20, 30, and 50. Example number 2. Aina, Rian, and Matthew are business partners. They agreed to divide their profits in the ratio 1 to 2 to 3. How much should each receive if the total profit is 6,000 pesos? Given, we have 6,000 pesos into parts 1 to 2 to 3. Solution 1 unit plus 2 units plus 3 units equals 6 units. That is 1 unit is equal to 6,000 divided by the total number of units which is 6. That is, 1 unit is 1,000. Therefore, 1,000 times 1 unit is 1,000. 1,000 times 2 units is 2,000. 1,000 times 3 units is 3,000. The answer is... Or the answers are... Aina will get 1,000 pesos, Rian will get 2,000 pesos, and Matthew will get 3,000 pesos. Again, what are the three kinds of proportion? We have direct proportion, inverse proportion, and partitive proportion. For your activity, answer these problems. 1. The ratio of duck's eggs to chicken's eggs in a store is 3 to 9. If there are 5 dozen eggs in the store, how many are duck eggs? 2. The food in a freezer can feed 100 boys in 60 days. Suppose 50 boys join the group. How many days will it take them to consume the food in the freezer? Three. The ratio of mango trees to avocado trees to guava trees is 5 to 4 to 3. If there are 1,176 trees in the orchard, how many mango trees are there? To solve the problem, do the following. First, we'll need to look for the given. Second, go for the solution. Under that is to write the related proportion or solve for N in the proportion and write your answer. Make sure you write the unit and label your answer. That's all for today. Please like, share, and subscribe to watch more videos.